Good thing we put all those stakes in. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, that was just practice yesterday. get the headroom we need in our bedroom we're having to take this down right here so that's what's what's going on here Over there where it's low, oh, okay, right there. where the garage is going to eventually go. We had a big heavy rain last night. I mean a big, long, heavy rain. Rain from 
like 11.30 until about 6 o'clock this morning. So it kind of got things a little bit washed down. There's my filling in for my garage. Eventually, I'm going to have a garage. It's going to be long and like 14 foot, 16 foot wide. And I don't know, probably till about, about here. So that should be pretty good. Just whenever we get a chance to do something extra, we'd be doing it. So just checking out my trees. A little nervous about the trees. A little nervous about the trees. We had to rip out some of this over here. There's just... The thing for me is the... My favorite part are the trees. There's a rooting that got damaged right there. And a little bit over there. But... Uh, yeah, looking pretty good. It's gonna be nice. The floor is gonna be about three inches off the deck here, three or four. And then it's gonna be, the boards are gonna, uh, are gonna be 10 inches wide. So I'll be up a, about a foot higher. And when I stand over here, I'll be able to, to touch the roof. We might be able to do a little bit of adjustment on the height of, over here because all, like all these poles, Keep telling you that but those, all that stuff is coming out it's all going to be set on bricks with footings i just think it makes sense but you probably guess what we've been doing we're going to move the the wood pile to the back of the property because when that tractor was here yesterday it was all into it and we did find a snake skin in there but it was probably, it was a little tiny snake. And I, th I think it was one of those little gardener snakes or whatever they call them. Some change of plans. We got a little bit of a change of plans here. Um, we need to take some dirt. Out over here. And out over there. And because we can't, we can't put the lines in the strings in to paint the lines and all that um, because it's too high so the tractor guy he'll be back here on Monday so the plan is right now is they wanted this wood gone so it was out of the way and like I say you can see the plywood maybe right by that tree back there but on this side of the fence we're gonna put all that wood back there and get it out of here and when the whole outside is all done we're all finished on the outside then we're going to build our wood racks huh dar yes. and then we're going to bring that wood back over and we're going to put it on the wood racks and that's where it will stay until it goes in the fireplace so but i mean that's that wood right there we've been burning on this wood for what Two and a half, three years now? Yeah. Three years? Yeah. And that wood came. All that wood came from that limb right there. All that wood came from right there. So it was a huge, huge limb, man. And uh, I paid a guy and his kids and his wife. They all came over and paid him 200 bucks to split all that and stack it and they did that was like three years ago and now we're uh, to the point where it would be in the way you got a lot of there's still more tractoring to do and then we're gonna have cement trucks in here we're gonna have a lot of a lot of things going on we don't want to uh make it more difficult than it has to be just picking up glass it's uh all kinds of glass. Yeah, and we found bottles. This place is, uh, we need a glass magnet. <laughs> if anyone has an idea how to pick up little, <laughs> other than just finding them and hand picking them up like Darla's doing right now. And Scott's been doing that. And I've been, we've all been yeah. picking up glass and that Cody kid yesterday was picking up. He picked up that big one, this thing. What oh, is wow. it? It's a lid to something. Yeah, it's a lid to something. Here, let me flip this yeah, around. It's a mason jar. Here. 
The mason but, jar. But uh, Scott said he's never seen a lid like that, though. Me either. Yeah, so. And I got my, uh, I had an issue with this old trailer. I couldn't get these dust caps for the wheel bearings. And I'm always constantly having to clean those bearings out and repack them because they get so full of dirt around here. So what I did is, is I took that hub off right there and I have a small lathe that I used to make spacers for the axles and stuff on the motorcycles. And I went in and I machined that out on both of them. I got a bigger cap and there you go, fixed. Problem solved. They wanted to replace the whole axle, hubs, the whole thing. It was gonna be like 300 bucks. And I thought, why well, pay that much when I can just, I bought those two caps for $5 and it took me uh, about four hours to do everything. What are you doing, you little glass scavenger? Why didn't you get a glass detector instead of a metal I detector? I know that. Looks like a battery, doesn't it? Old battery? It's not. It's like a rubber grommet. Yeah. When we get all done with this place, it's, it's going to be so pristine, there won't be a piece of glass anywhere. We didn't film it all because uh, it was quite drastic. We're still in the process of just getting ready to start building. So one of the problems we had the other day, we had this big pile over here of wood. We had to get rid of it. it. Took us three days to do everything and it took us like two hours to get rid of the snakes. So you do get snakes in wood piles in Arkansas. I can, Guarantee that, but they were king snakes, so they were nice snakes. We got rid of all this stuff, got it all cleaned up. Looks really good now. I don't see any snakes now. What a job that was, man. Whew. So we moved everything over here. So come on, let's go look. We're still burning stuff. We got a trailer full of little, the little stuff that we pick up around the yard. We were piling it over there. Now we're burning it, but the wind's kind of picked up, so we don't want to don't want it to blow out and light anything on fire. But here's our wood pile now. There's a bunch of the scrap. We got this cleared up. Now they can get the tractor in there. Yeah, we're getting there now. Should be able to get this thing rock and rolling starting Monday. The tractor will be the guys will be back, and we're going to start digging the footings. Once the footings are dug, then it's concrete, then it's bricks, then it's building the house. So that's where we're at, folks. Just thought we'd give you a, a tail end to this drama. Thanks, Cage. <laughs> oh, they're being fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do us a favor, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and uh, hit the like button. I think it's gonna get pretty exciting here. I think it's gonna be fun. We're doing a whole new thing in our lives. We changed from economic refugees RV, now we're just the economic refugees. Our life is gonna be a little bit of RV, a little bit of a lot of things, and mostly building this house. So, and once this is done, I don't know, we're gonna to have to figure something else out. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.